Welcome back. Shares of nuclear software are under pressure. The stock is down 4%. Uh, yesterday, though, it was higher by close to about 7%. Now, the top line of the company has seen a growth of close to about 2% on a year-on-year -year basis. And even on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, growth has been close to about 3%. Margins are down on a year-on-year -year basis, but they have improved on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. Vishnu Dusat, co-founder uh, and MD of Nuclear Software Exports, is with us on the show now to take a few questions. Thank you very much, sir, for joining in. This is Reema here. First, if you could just talk about this top-line growth of yours. You know, you've been a company which has been seeing very strong growth. Even for FI24, you've seen about a 30% top-line growth. It's just that in Q4, the growth rates appear to have dipped. What happened? I was, uh, we are in a business which is... Uh sporadic in, in some manner uh, our uh, top line depends on the size of uh, the license uh, orders that we have pick up we are able to pick up and sometimes uh, you know the orders get uh, delayed by an a quarter or so and that is where uh, we uh, our, our top line would not uh, reflect uh, the performance Okay, so how many orders have gotten delayed? I just want to understand, is this a one quarter? Will growth bounce back in Q2? Or is there a slowness in the market also? No, I would not uh, say that there is a slow, slowness in the market. Uh, you know, there is a demand in the market. However, uh, it will depend on, uh, you know, how, how soon our uh, customers uh, take decisions. Uh, and and uh, also... Uh, our pricing is also uh, something that, uh, you know, it is no longer the low prices at which we were uh, selling. So our customers are taking some time to take the decisions. Mm. So now that you've sort of raised the pricing bar for your own self, will this uh, result in lower growth for you going ahead? Because you were a company which has seen very strong growth over the past many years. So last year was 30%. In FI23, also your growth was 27 28%. Now going ahead, should we align ourselves to a 10 15% kind of growth? Um, and what is your own expectation of FI25? Uh, you know, as a policy, we do not give guidance that uh, you may be aware of. Uh, now, and having said that... Um, there is uh, no reason for us to uh, believe that our growth uh, numbers need to be uh, moderated. We would continue to grow at a good pace. This is what I would like to say. Mm. And um, sir, what about margins? I mean, what is the visibility that you have? Uh, uh, you know, they have increased quarter on quarter, but your peak margins, I believe, are uh, closer to 40%. So. What are the cost pressures at play? And given what you're saying about pricing, what can one expect on margins? Margins uh, would di be directly dependent on our top line because our uh, our expenses are uh, kind of built in, and uh, uh, the quarters or the year wherever the top line is uh, uh, better, we we uh, look forward to better margins. But, uh, you know, uh, is 40% a distant, you know, distant milestone now in the past? Or is, is the ambition to start going back above, you know, gradually 30, 35, 40? But is it possible to get back to the, those kind of levels? Uh, certainly, certainly. It is possible. And what would be the lever, sir? I mean, uh, uh, with what conviction do you say that? Uh, see, uh, the, the intellectual property that we uh, continue to uh, create is, is uh, absolutely world class and uh, there are uh, discussions with customers uh, i would say uh, all over the world where um, they are keenly looking at uh, looking at, uh, you know deploying our intellectual property for their businesses and uh, you know this confidence comes out of uh, those conversations that are going on uh, with our customers so you said that your pricing is no longer the cheapest or the least and you have you know taken a pricing correction and increase what has been the average increase and is there more to go? Okay, uh, I would not be able to comment on uh, average increases. It's, it's uh, very, okay. very difficult. It varies from, uh, you know, customers uh, earlier uh, position to current position. We have been able to, um, you know, negotiate and uh, so on. Uh, so it's, it's uh, difficult for uh, us to uh, comment on uh, averages. Sure. Yeah. Okay. 
but uh, are you still in talks negotiating with your clients for a further price increase or is that done uh, you know it is with the customers whom uh, with whom we have uh, got it uh, increased uh, it is done for the time being and uh, for for the rest of them where we have not been able to uh, negotiate uh, we will take some time so how many what percentage of your with what percentage of your customers have you managed to exact a price increase is it 30% is it 50% no it is already uh, in the 70 80% range 70 80% so with 70 80% of your customers there has been a price increase and with the balance you're still in talks that, that's right okay. that's right what is your order book now currently sir i think last time it was 744 crore it is in a uh, similar uh, range uh, uh, some uh, i think 830 crores or uh, in that range okay and the cash in the books um, you are eligible for a buyback so is that on the cards this year in fi25 uh, yeah board would take that decision um, as of now uh, they, uh, in yesterday's board meeting this decision was not taken okay your know, india business is slowed down both quarter on quarter and on a year on year basis the revenues from india and that's more than 50% of your overall revenue can you pinpoint the reasons for that and also tell us a little bit more about the deal closures which got deferred what was the extent of that how many deals were they large deals uh, any of them got cancelled or are they all going to fructify in q1 uh, timeline i would not be able to say but at least five deals would have got uh, postponed and uh, they, they 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 were uh, of uh, various sizes um, you know small to medium i can say okay uh, all right sir we we'll leave the conversation here thank you very much for joining in and wish you all the very best uh, we'll get into a break on the other side we'll talk market technicals jay thakkar from icic securities joins in next